welcome back in this video i'm going to be unboxing and testing out the dazzling edition polygel nail starter kit when you first open the box the top is going to say oh hey beauty life is not perfect but your nails can be i absolutely love the holographic of this packaging on the bottom, it does have an insert card that says it's time to nail it. On the back of this card, you do have different nail shapes to try and a nail ruler. This poly gel kit does come with six different poly gel colors. They are 15 ml tubes of poly gel. You do get a really good variety of different colors. Underneath the insert card, you're going to find the instructions on how to apply your poly gel to your nails using the dual form method. Underneath the instructions, you're going to find a small white box. Inside this box is going to contain the rest of the contents. The first thing I'm showing you here is the UV LED nail lamp. This is to cure the poly gel into place. You do have little legs that pop out. On the back, you do have the power button and the area to plug in the USB cable. You also get some builder gel liquid. This is to smooth out the poly gel. You do get two poly gel clips. These are to hold the dual forms in place while you smooth out the underside. You also get a container of rhinestones and three sizes for each color. You do get your base and top coat. These are gel polishes. You also get some really nice tweezers, a really nice hand file, the poly gel tool. This has the brush on one side and the spatula on the other. And you also get a container of dual forms to apply the poly gel to your nails. I went ahead and swatched the poly gels off camera and here's all of the colors. I've already applied the nail tips to the nails. I'm going to be using the Builder Gel Liquid and go ahead and pour some of this into the container. I'm going to be using the color 129, which is the really pretty pink glitter poly gel. I'm going to be applying this directly onto the nail tip. This is one of the many ways that you can apply poly gel to your nails. I'm then going to take the poly gel brush dipped in the Builder Gel Liquid and I'm going to start smoothing out the poly gel over top of the entire nail. This method of application is a little bit more advanced than the dual form or lazy girl method simply because you have to make sure that the surface of the poly gel nail is very smooth after your application. After the poly gel is fully smoothed out, I'm going to cure under the UV LED nail lamp for one minute. I'm going to be repeating the exact same thing on the pinky nail as well. I'm then going to take the color 597 from the gel polish and nail lacquer sets. This is the gel polish. This is a really light shade of pink gel polish. I'm going to be applying the gel polish to the two middle nails. I did use the full cover jelly tips for the nail tip and because of that they do have a lot of strength to them. So just applying the gel polish does give your nails enough strength to last for your manicure. I do think that these two colors went nicely together. I feel like they complemented each other very nicely and I got exactly what I wanted for this manicure. Once I've applied the gel polish, I'm going to cure under the lamp for one minute. I'm going to be doing the exact same thing to do a second layer of gel polish on both of the nails.
I am going to be taking the no wipe gel top coat and apply this to the two middle nails. I personally like to do nail art over a very smooth surface so I like to apply the gel top coat before I do my nail art. I'm then going to cure under the nail lamp for one minute. I'm then going to take a lint-free wipe with some alcohol and remove the sticky layer from the poly gel nails. This is really important to prevent ruining your hand file. I'm then going to take the hand file and I'm going to go ahead and reshape the edges of the nail. I'm also going to be filing over the surface of the nail to get it as smooth as possible. I'm going to repeat the exact same thing to the pinky nail as well. I'm then going to take the black gel liner from the gel liner collection and I'm going to be drawing the reindeer on one of the nails. I'm going to make sure I don't have too much polish on the brush and I'm going to start drawing the antlers for the reindeer. To draw the antlers, you're just going to draw a curved line and then smaller points coming off of the line. You're then going to repeat the exact same thing to do a second antler on the other side of the nail. To draw the eyes, I'm going to draw two really small lines and then I'm going to make little tiny lines for the eyelashes. Once I have that like I want, I'm going to cure under the nail lamp. I'm then taking a small bead of the same poly gel color that I used for the other nails and I'm going to be applying this directly under the eyes. I'm going to sculpt this out into the nose. I do want to make sure that this stays 3D so I'm making sure not to push it down too much. I'm then going to cure under the nail lamp. Next, I'm taking the silver gel liner. This is number 11. This color is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take the gel liner and I'm going to draw a straight line going from the cuticle all the way down to the free edge of the nail. I'm also going to draw a horizontal line at the free edge of the nail. I'm then going to draw a bow shape where those lines intersect. I'm just starting by drawing two really small ovals in between the lines. I'm then going to draw two really small lines underneath the circles. Once I have that layer I did cure under the nail lamp, I'm then going with the black gel liner and I'm going to be adding some detail lines beside the silver ones. I'm then going to cure that layer under the nail lamp. And the last step is to take the no wipe gel top coat and apply this onto all of the nails. Applying the gel top coat is going to give the nails a very beautiful shine. I'm then going to cure the top coat for one minute. And here are the nails. I hope you guys love this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you want to see more videos, you can click the boxes or subscribe to Double Dip's YouTube channel by clicking the circle here. You can also subscribe to my personal YouTube channel by clicking the circle here.